Hello there. Welcome to Brainfront. Today I'm going to teach you how to install the latest version of GCC and how to remove the older version. So, I know that most of you have installed this MinGW minimalist GNU for Windows as all the YouTubers and all the websites tell you to install this one even though the last update of this application was in 2018. Like this MinGW is the GCC version of 6.3 and the latest GCC version is 11.1. So yeah, you can see how freaking old this thing is. But yeah, it works. So yeah, there is that. Anyway, to remove that, you need to open MinGW installation manager. I've already uninstalled everything. So yeah, I can't show you, but I can direct you through this uh, image. Okay, after opening this uh, application, click all packages then click on the green box then few options will appear click on mark for removal now you need to do this step on each and every green box yeah i know it's quite a hassle but yeah you need to have remove everything so it is what it is after doing that, click on installation, then apply. After everything is removed, in my opinion, you should restart your device once. Now after that, we will finally start installing the latest version of GCC. To do that, we need to go to winlab winlibs.com now by the way all the website links and all the commands that i'm going to use in this video will be in the description below so yeah you can go and check it there okay now go to the download section and as you can see gcc 11.1 if you have a 64-bit version of Windows, then click here and download the 7-zip archive. If you have the 32-bit one, then click here. By the way, I'm telling you to download the archive which doesn't have these LLVM etc. Because in most cases, you wouldn't need this LLVM compiler infrastructure. Okay, after downloading the file, right click it, then extract files, then click on C drive, then OK. I've already done it, so yeah, I don't need to do it again. Uh, then you will see minzw64 here. Now go inside it, then go inside bin. Now click here and copy the address now right click on this PC now go to advanced system settings then environment variables then click on path then edit then new and finally paste I've already done it so yeah lastly click OK 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 I'm gonna minimize everything okay now to check whether your system is able to detect GCC or not you can use the commands that is given in the description below 
and you can use the, those commands in cmd or powershell i'm gonna use cmd right now this is the version uh, oh i by mistake put a space as you can see gcc 11.1 i will also check t plus plus version g plus plus 11.1 as you can see both are being detected now for the vs code people uh, you need to install code runner and all the like for c or c plus plus you need to install this extension and you also need to install code runner after that go to settings then code runner and you need to from here you need to scroll down and come here code runner executor map then click here and you will see these here if you want to use different versions of c or c plus plus you just need to type the these commands here you just need to change these two numbers in these commands like i am using the 17 version of c plus plus and c i can also use different versions it doesn't matter like i can use c11 and i can at the same time use c plus plus 17 there is no problem in that anyway oh by the way um, to use c plus plus 23 i think its command is 2a as far as i remember just some extra fact okay now control s save then close this close this and close this now i will show you that it is working by running these two programs this is the c program uh, sorry c plus plus program as you can see hello there is being printed so the c plus plus program is working now the c program and you can see hello there the c program is also working so that is all for today see you guys in the next one